Good morning. Welcome to the Air Six at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. Now, the Australian share market is expected to open lower this morning. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.2% fall. Yesterday, the market closed 0.41% lower at 7,780. In business news from this morning, CSL today announced it's priced 1.25 billion US dollar corporate bonds in the United States. The notes will be issued by CSL Finance and guaranteed by the parent company, CSL, and a certain number of its subsidiaries. The principal amount, tenor and coupon for the notes are $500 million, 10-year at a fixed rate coupon of 5.106%, and also $750 million, 30-year at a fixed rate coupon of 5.41%. Also, CSL intends to use the cash proceeds from the offering to refinance existing bank debt and the remainder for general corporate purposes. Australian Singaporean regenerative medicine company Osteopore is a global leader in 3D printed biomimetic and bioabsorbable implants. It's excited to announce it secured market approval for its groundbreaking orthopedic products in Singapore and Vietnam. Osteopore has obtained regulatory clearance from Singapore's Health Sciences Authority and Vietnam's Department of Medical Equipment and Construction for Axopore, which includes a suite of off-the-shelf and customizable orthopedic products. HSA and DMEC clearance positions Osteopore for high-value complex bone reconstruction procedures as well as general bone grafting procedures. Australian Internet of Things technology company X2M Connect is pleased to announce the signing of a new contract with Yuanda Intelligence in China. X2M has been developing three markets in China, these being water meter and quality monitoring, remote gas monitoring and gas leak detection. The contract is with new customer Yuanda Intelligence in Beijing Water Technology Company for water quality sensors, which is a similar product to some of the previous China contracts. Let's take a break now. I'll be back with more news set to affect your trading day. Right now, Calkine is offering a seven-day free trial on its premium research reports. Get access to data-driven market insights combined with an in-depth analysis on financial markets across the globe. Don't miss it. Subscribe for the free trial now. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. Let's take a look overseas now. The S&P 500 finished the day down 0.28%. The Nasdaq lost 0.42% and the Dow Jones closed down 0.08%. European markets closed higher with London's FTSE adding 0.17%, Frankfurt gaining 0.67% and Paris rose 0.41%. Tokyo's Nikkei lost 0.04%, Hong Kong's Hang Seng gained 0.88%, and China's Shanghai Composite added 0.17%. That's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.